difficulties of today and tomorrow, I still have a dream. It is a dream deeply rooted in the American dream. I have a dream that one day this nation will rise up and live out the true meaning of its creed. We hold these truths to be self-evident that all men will win the will of might. Super Bowl! Yes, I did write that speech myself. Uh, a little bit of help from ChatGPT. They said some guy named Martin wrote it. Thanks, Martin. Gentlemen, today is the final Wheel of Mud Super Bowl. Technically, of course, we have the grand finale coming out, an entire season of Wheel of Mud in one video. But this is the end of Falcon season and the last true episode. Luckily, we did make it to the Super Bowl, and I know I say this a lot, but if you go through every single season of Wheel of Mutt ever. I have never had a 98 overall team. This is truly the greatest team we've ever made. So first things first, if I make a Super Bowl, I get to prestige a new player. So this team already has some insane prestige players like Jason Kelsey, Trent Williams, Jamar Chase, Rob Gronkowski on both offense and defense right now. We've got Ray Lewis, Derwin James, Nick Bosa, Jalen Carter, Patrick Sertan, and even Harrison Butker. Now, whenever I prestige a player, I am always entitled to the best version possible. And since there's a grand finale, I will be using this prestige player. At wide receiver, we have the six foot eight demon, Harold Carmichael. There's also Bo Jackson. So I have halfback Bo Jackson, right? But Bo Jackson just got a golden ticket right outside linebacker. Not to mention there's two other guys on defense that got golden tickets. Jesse Bates got a golden ticket free safety. Maybe we prestige Jesse Bates and we have both our safeties locked up. Also, we have two insane linebackers, but you know who also got a golden ticket? Outside linebacker. Or Megatron. So there are three players literally on this team right now that all have golden tickets. Every single one of them is a good prestige option. This Megatron's been so nasty too. I really like the Megatron option. I really like the Jesse Bates option. I don't know that I would take anybody else. Alrighty, alrighty, alrighty. I'm not gonna lie though, we are struggling with success. I don't know how to upgrade this team. We're gonna have two wheel spins today before we play the Super Bowl. I guess maybe I could upgrade Quentin Nelson just a little bit. But other than that, the offense is basically decked out all gold 99s. Defensively, maybe someone for Devin White. Probably someone for Mike Purcell. I, I, dude, like the team's so good. All right, boys, let's get after it. We've got the Super Bowl ahead. We've got two wheel spins. Uh, I'm trying to think what's even... Do any of the rookies have a golden ticket? Was Dalton Kincaid a rookie this year? I swear he was. Dalton Kincaid was a rookie. And Dalton Kincaid has a golden ticket tight end. Yo, wait a minute. This is definitely not the player I thought we would be picking up right now, but I am super excited to have him. Golden ticket, Dalton Kincaid. Only not... Wow, I'm actually surprised at a golden ticket with 97 speed. I thought he'd have 99. He's still got really, really good stats. That's 90 run blocking. And then one thing that I recently just noticed, the golden tickets actually do get their X factors. So it doesn't say it, but their X factors charge up and charge down like any other X factor. So I could probably give him double me, I'm guessing, and it'll charge up and work. Yep, charge up double me. So yeah, it's it's kind of just like the Gronk that we have at tight end, but now I'm actually going to bench tight end Gronk, which sounds weird, but now it's actually fair. I have Gronk middle linebacker out of position on the other end and then Dalton Kincaid here. Technically, I could prestige Dalton Kincaid and he could be my starting tight end for next season. Like, I could do that. That's actually not a bad idea because next season, like the finale, I'm gonna use Gronk middle linebacker as my prestige option. I'm not gonna use the tight end, which will leave me without a tight end. So now I'm thinking about it. I'm gonna give him matchup nightmare for free. I'm gonna give him jukebox for free. He's kind of like a wide receiver more than he is a tight end, but hey, Dalton Kincaid, golden ticket added to the team. Now, keep in mind, this is the Super Bowl, so I only have two wheel spins, but our first one is an awesome, awesome addition. Oh! All right, boys. Oh, we're getting closer and I'm getting nervous. I got to come out with a win on the final Super Bowl. Our next wheel spin, our second and final is a, it's a Super Bowl wheel spin for the Super Bowl. Super Bowl pass really doesn't help us. It is going to come down to a prestige here and sorted by time remaining. So we can choose one player out of these 12. Lots of Terrell Davis, Terrell Davis, Terrell Davis, Doug Williams, Sky Moore. Oh, 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 oh. I was about to say, I, I almost thought we just got absolutely nothing. There's one good option in here. 
here. So Cam Chancellor has the limited Super Bowl pass card. This is a crazy good card. It's not crazy good anymore. This is a sick card. The reason this is really good is because Cam Chancellor has probably the second most expensive safety in the game after Ronnie Lott. And that's the Bam Bam Cam card. Dude, like this card's actually so rare. There's only two on the auction house and each one's four mil. Gold 99 Bam Bam Cam. He has Avalanche as an ability, just like my Ray Lewis does. 99 speed, zone coverage, hit power. This is an insane prestige option. So no, we can't buy that, that uh, Cam Chancellor. That wasn't what that spin was. But we can pick up this 96 Cam. And since we can prestige one player, we can prestige whoever we want. And potentially we prestige Cam Chancellor and we go into the grand finale with gold 99 Bam Bam Cam. There's way, I have way too many good prestige options right now. Obviously that's not a real problem. That's a pretty awesome problem to have. But I just don't, I really don't know who I'm gonna pick. And this, ladies and gentlemen, is your final Super Bowl lineup. Decked out with, I think, 10 gold 99s, if not a little bit more. The newest addition is gold 99, golden ticket Dalton Kincaid as our tight end. His backup is gold 99 Luke Musgrave. We've got some young tight ends in there. On the offensive line, we've got Dan Deardorff with Identifier Secure Protector, Robert Hunt with Screen Protector Secure Protector, Jason Kelsey's Tribute with Lynchpin Secure Protector. We got gold 99 Keenan Allen with Mid and Elite. We've got our team captain for Falcons season. Michael Vick with a ridiculous stack of abilities for Dirt Cheap. Truz, Evasive, Gift Wrap, Gunslinger, Master Attack, and Set Feet Lead. Harold Carmichael with Matchup Nightmare Deep Elite. Saquon, probably the best running back I've ever used for some reason. At a 98 overall. Energizer, Evasive, Freight Train. We got our fullback, Trent Williams. We have, I literally just realized this. I can't believe this didn't tick in my head before. I have two Trent Williams on offense. They usually don't let you do that. I have both fullback and left tackle Trent Williams. Then we got Puka Nakua, Dan Deardorff. That offense is unbelievable. And don't even think for a second you're gonna forget about defense. Nick Bosa, our prestige that paid off after a long wait. A big payoff. Edge Threat Elite, no outsider. DJ Watt with Run Stuffer, Lurk Artist, Edge Threat Elite. I love that card. Jalen Ramsey with Deep Route and Pick Artist. Our middle linebacker, Gronk, truly the best prestige I have ever made. Like the best single prestige I've ever made. He has at all times had a God Squad card. Lurk Artist, Tackle Supreme mid zone KM. Ray Lewis with Avalanche, the ability Enforcer Supreme to guarantee the hit stick and Lurk Artist to jump like a psychopath. Pick Artist, Deep Zone KO, Mid Zone KO on Palomalu. D'Angelo Hall, Mid Zone, Deep Out Zone. Jesse Bates with Pick Artist. Devin White with Lurk Artist. And Derwin James, the NFC Championship MVP with his insane Avalanche ability. Oh man, I'm gonna miss Madden 24. I'm not gonna lie. I think for a long time, Madden 20 was my favorite Madden, but I've had so much fun with Madden 24. I might have to give it to Madden 24. We're a 98 overall. The only thing left is the challenge wheel. And keep in mind how important this is. The challenge wheel gives us one of any pack in the store if we win. That means that next episode, when my team resets, I could kickstart the team with one awesome pack, assuming I complete the challenge in the Super Bowl. It's risky, but important. Our challenge for the final Super Bowl with the Atlanta Falcons God Squad. What do you got? Oh, go 30 plus. That's a hell of a challenge for this one, boys. We gotta drop a 30 bomb or better. You see it on your screen, boys! The All Madden Super Bowl! That immaculate box is getting opened at the start of the grand finale. I can't worry about that now. Ayo! We got the Super Bowl presentation. This Super Bowl is the Atlanta Falcons versus the Seattle Seahawks. He's got Dickerson. Yeah, so you can't see top threes in the Super Bowl. You just get to see Return Man and then got to find out the hard way. So we know he's got Dickerson. Dickerson's scary. But everything, everything this far in the season is scary. Zero to zero starting on defense is how I love to start every single game. I'm a way better defensive player than I am offensive. And if you can turn somebody over on that first drive, oh, the momentum. My it's a mind game. In my opinion, football is closer to chess than any other sport. Let's find out if that's true. He's got Lamar Jackson. Oh, God. Did Lamar get a golden ticket? No, you're not! I just bagged the piss out of you. Oh, my God. I can't believe that's not an interception. Okay, he's got a nasty team. Yeah, he's got a nasty team. Oh, he's in gun bunch. Good dot. Oh! Good hit, Palomalu. Ooh, that might actually be a run. He had a wide open man. He's not gonna. Does he have Truss as an ability? He didn't go down. He might have Truss as an ability. Oh, he does. Oh my God. So he has, he has run and gun and Truss. What is that Lamar? That card's insane. 
Oh, it might be the AKA Lamar. Now that I think about it, but it don't matter. Nick Bosa loves himself. An ethnic quarterback. Let's go, baby. I'll shut up. Oh, this is a big dot. Oh, that corner route's open. Get there, zone KO. Oh, yeah, he's gonna be in gun bunch all game. I gotta find a way to stop it. What is that? Oh, that, that was a bad angle he took there. But he still gets in the end zone. Yeah, that's a super meta offense he's running. This is gonna be this is gonna be an absolute battle. Oh my god, a blocked kick! <gasps> that would have been my first blocked kick of Madden 24 in the Super Bowl. Oh, speak of the devil, he's got the Bam Bam Cam. He has golden ticket outside linebacker Megatron. Okay, this is actually this is actually the most expensive team in the game. Holy shit. Whoa, 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 where'd my screen go? Giving it to Dalton Kincaid! Hey, his first play on the squad's a 19-yard reception. We gotta be very careful. His Bam Bam Cam, as we just talked about, has the ability avalanche. So if he gets if he gets a good hit on Saquon, it's a fumble. Good. Spectacular! Saquon! If I had one more juke in me. Oh, I needed to juke one more time, and that's all the way to the house. All right, first and 10. Check down to Saquon. He's got a ton of room to work with. Another huge juke! Don't fumble, buddy. All right, first and 10, exact same play. For some reason, they just fully peeled off Kincaid. This drive has been all Dalton Kincaid and Saquon Barkley. Not sure what I want here. Oh my God, he just got an instant block shot. And absolutely nobody decides to block once again. What is with the blocking right now? He just literally walked through untouched. Well, there's... We need something great here. Right down the middle, and there's a zone KO. We're going to have to settle for a field goal. That was honestly a really good drive, and then there was two insta-block sheds, and we get double sacked. I'm going to have to get the ball out quicker. Got to have an awesome possession here. We've got to force a turnover some way or another. And damn, if Derwin had avalanche right there, that would be exactly what I'm talking about. Second and seven, he is chewing clock. I can't tell, actually, in this room. That's an insane ball, but a Palomalu zone KO. That was a hell of a ball. Hey, the big blitz. That was risky, but I set the house. Fourth the 15, he's going for it. This might be one of the best guys we've ever played. have to intercept that. Oh, you have to pick that off. That's a mistake right there for sure. Ooh, and I'm on Jalen Carter. That's also a mistake. Oh, please. Okay. He's got Dickerson lit up. Kind of expected, but oh, wow. That's out of the ball too. Here's the good news. We get ball at half. We're going to have to score a touchdown, make this 10 to 14 if he scores here, and then get the ball at half and score and, and go up. That's our only option. That's a scary ball right there. Second and 10, good stop. I'm on Mike Purcell. It's like the last guy I want to be on. But let's go. Can we make the stop here? Gun trips tight end. Oh, that's a scary ball too. Fourth and 10, it gets swatted and he's going to go for his field goal. That's a huge stop. Keep it about the end zone's massive here. Okay. The gates are open. All right, well, we got to score with no time left. I don't really know what offense I like here, but Kincaid continues to be open on that, so I always got to look to it. Let's let some time tick. Can't let him have any clock when he gets there. First and 10. That was insane that Vic got that throw off like that. That throw animation was so gross. Hey, let's not forget, we've been such a good run team all season. Definitely can't decide to get away from the run all of a sudden, right? Because it's looking good now. Oh, no. Good pursuit angles. I thought we were going to be able to bend that corner. Hey, definitely got to look at the run. Because guess what I did last drive? I had some good runs. And then I pass, pass, pass. And I am kicking a field goal. We're cognizant of the fact that I'm a great passing team. Or I'm a great running team. But we can pass too, baby. Sorry, guys. I'm nervous. My commentary's going off here. That was beautiful, though. We're dotting up. We're making good run plays. I'm running out of clock here, though. Let's be smart. Gonna go inside zone again, get a great pull block. Are you fucking kidding me? Jason Kelsey, you missed your block. Saquon bounced it because he's Saquon, I guess. Second and one, I think there might be a window for Kincaid again. 
They really keep leaving that, bro. No! Third and one. I'm running wide zone to the right side. They, there's no way they have the numbers for this. They definitely don't. We can call a timeout. First and 10. 11 seconds to go. We really do want this. We really want this touchdown, though. Oh, my God. They didn't let me get Oh, I did. Shit, I just wasted a timeout. What does coach say here? Coach says field goal. This is the Super Bowl. We have to take an opportunity at the end zone. We gotta at least try it. Second and ten. Just don't throw an interception, Matthew. Kyle Pitts corner. And I just said just don't throw an interception. We need an insane second half. I'm not gonna lie, though. My run game's really good. I just ran out of clock there on that drive. Certainly could have taken my field goal, though, right? can't get hung up on that yeah that's a bummer yeah i probably should take my field goal but i can't get hung up on it like what does it matter what does it matter that i should have taken my field goal i had saquon wide open even with double me are you kidding me i possession caught that he's supposed to catch it and lay down <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if he shifted underneath or what, but he just ran commit. That's insane. They don't expect me to go for two here. Go Kincaid. I gotta throw it. <laughs> I'm a little unhinged, dude. I don't know if I took my medicine today. I'm not playing this how I should be. I'm not playing this entire game even remotely how I should be. I think I need this. I think that first half I played very conservative. I'm gonna keep playing exactly how I'm playing. I think I'm gonna win this game. He has it on the left side. Oh, Ramsey! Okay. Your line. Please go down. Oh! Shit, he has trust. It wouldn't have mattered. I missed it, though. Hands off Dickerson, and that's crazy. I'm not even guessing pass. There might have been something earlier, but dude, these double activated D linemen are just killing me. I miss Aaron Donald. That's what I was trying to move before the possession catch. It works there. I'm down by too much. That's a good ball. That's a really good ball and a great switch on. First and ten. I just gotta stay in this exact tempo. I think there's an available user playmaker here. Oh, don't need it. Hit the whip route to Jamar. It's time to win the ball game. Dalton Kincaid. Beautiful. He's been leaving that a lot today. He literally, he might just leave it again. Uh, it's kind of guarded there. But that's open. No. There's no fucking way. Look at this. What? It is, so it dribbled off of my guy's back into somebody's knee into JJ Watt's hands? Oh my god, he can run eye formation stretch until the game's over. Oh my god, he's actually in eye form for the rest of the game. Play action. Oh, that's weird. I thought it should have been an avalanche downhill hit stick too, but it wasn't for some reason. I just watched you knock the ball out of my hands three consecutive plays. How are you catching that? And I don't think this could have gone worse, man. That was my drive to tie the game. Dude, this is a classic. Like, my best offense is the run game, but I can't run the ball. Two minutes left in the fourth quarter, down two possession. That's so fucking annoying. Can we just watch that back? What on fucking earth is that? How does he keep doing that? That's how we got dragged out on our first possession. Zone KO, fourth and four. Saquon over the middle. Nice pickup. I don't even know what to say right now, bro. This sucks so bad. 
What on earth? You know who's having a good game, though? J our, our white boy defensive ends are having a hell of a game. But the only people I can speak highly of right now. We'll pick for Derwin. He's down with a second, and we'll get a final play of the game. <laughs> yeah, and it's knocked out. That's a perfect description of this game. Well, it is Falcon season. I didn't think we really could win the Super Bowl. But honestly, I came into this game so excited, so ready to play, and I probably should have known. Oh, of course, you don't have the sack, do you? So Dan Deardorff loses his block to J.J. Watt, and to recover on it, he tries to run a route. This is when I knew we were cooked. Could have thrown any of these drags and not got sacked, though, but still. It was actually the play before this that was total BS, but that's the one they don't have. The amount of times this happened today, this is our opening drive. We get all the way down into the red zone, and then this happens. This is Jason Kelsey! This is career tribute, Jason Kelsey. Look at this block! What? <laughs> what the fuck are you blocking? That's an insta block. Like, it's not even an insta block shit. He just didn't even get blocked. He basically got a full steam run at Vic. How on earth could that happen? Trent Williams is blocking the air. And then the game ended here. I'm gonna be honest, guys. This is where the game ended. So we're back in the red zone. And ironically, we're actually back in the exact same spot. Exact same down and distance. And I think I threw this ball to Kincaid here on this left side. Trying to do a possession catch on the edge to Kincaid. I don't really think I had anything else. Yeah, I didn't. There was nothing else that could have been thrown here. You could think you'd think you could throw 86, but I'm pretty sure that Lurk Artist would light up on 76. I don't know. Regardless, I threw this to Kincaid. Slapped off of John Randall's left arm mid-pass rush. Yeah. And then I DC from the servers. Okay. What the fuck are we doing? What the fuck was that? I... What the fuck was that? This is the worst feeling, too, because usually it's like, okay, we got hoed. We lost. We didn't play a great game. That's part of the process. Let's pick it up and have a great next game. That's the Super Bowl. I can't do anything about that. It's over and the season's over. All right, boys. Hey, I love you. I'm really sorry I couldn't get you a better game there. That was, um, that just felt like it was a bad string of events one after another. They just, they kind of just piled on top of each other. All right, boys. Well, the next episode is the grand finale. We're going to wipe the team of everybody except our prestige players. No challenge wheel. And and no wins, so we don't get the trophy packs either. So the start of the grand finale is going to be a really tough start. We will have a prestige player, though. I haven't decided who yet. We'll find out, though. You can bet your ass that the grand finale is going to be a redemption season. The whole season, I will remember this moment, and we will take it all the way. We got no choice but to do that, boys. All right, y'all. I love you. Thanks for watching, as always. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.